Yes, okay. Okay, Mark meets Sir John Hegarty. Hello, John. Mark, lovely to meet you. Um, Great that you're here. <laughs> can you give us a quick summary of your career? Oh, quick summary. Uh, came into the industry as a junior art director in 1965 at an agency called Benson & Bowles, which now no longer exists because they were completely useless. Um, Straight from university? or uh, No, I went from design school. Uh, I was at the London College of Printing, uh, where I studied. I was doing graphic design and printing. Uh, at LCP, which is now called the London College of Communication, of course. Um, I was introduced to advertising by the wonderful, wonderful, brilliant, marvellous John Gillard who turned me on to the idea of advertising, because I always loved ideas. Ideas were what drove me. So that's how, how I got to it. I originally was, thought I was going to be a painter. I wanted to be the next Picasso, but um, sadly, I didn't <laughs> quite have the skill. <laughs> but um, so uh, was exposed to advertising whilst at the LCP, loved the idea of ideas, saw the early work of Bill Birnbach and Volkswagen and thought, wow, this is fantastic. Here's something that's intelligent, witty, smart, sharp, but also, importantly, inclusive. And that's the great skill of advertising, is to sort of create something of real value and merit and yet maintain its integrity uh, and maintain uh, an authenticity. And after that? And after that... Uh, Met, started working with Charles Saatchi as my first writer, which was uh, fantastic. Then um, uh, eventually uh, left, ben got fired from Benson and Bowles. Actually, very important to get fired once in your career. How, why was that? Uh, I was, I was a pain in the ass. Um, <laughs> I mean, I was constantly telling them they were useless and hopeless and absolutely no good. And you really don't want to hear that from a 21, 22-year-old, you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I was right, of course. But that, you know, being right isn't necessarily the right thing to be at certain times in your career. Uh, and eventually they, they sort of decided that we should part company. Uh, our futures are not inextricably interwoven, I think is a phrase they use. <laughs> uh, and they were right. Uh, but I did have a last laugh, actually, about... Ten years after being fired, they wanted me to go back to be their creative director, which I naturally turned down. So then I, I worked with Charlie. He went off and, uh, through various other, set up a consultancy with Ross Kramer, asked me to join them. I joined them. The consultancy, that was about 1967, the consultancy then became uh, the agency Saatchi & Saatchi. Ross very sadly left to go and direct films, advertising's loss, direction's gain. Um, and Charlie asked me to go with him and be a partner with him uh, at Saatchi and Saatchi. Did that, uh, then left in 73 to set up the London office of TBWA. <clears throat> and uh, that's where I met Nigel Bogle and John Bartle. Um, we stayed there till 82. Uh, we were campaign agency, campaign magazine's first agency of the year in 1980 then decided that we ought to do it for ourselves um, and set up BBH in 1982. And here we are, 30 years later, and I'm still here. That is a very quick summary. That was very fast. Um, if you could have your name to any invention, <coughs> what would it be? Ugh, the pencil. Okay. Genius, 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 genius. I think I still think the pencil is fantastic. You kind of get... Doesn't need any, you know. I mean, I always think a Martian lands on the world. You say you've got a computer and you do that, and you've got an iPhone. Oh, fan, 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 got to plug it in, got to charge it, and then then you've got this thing called a pencil. A pencil? Well, what's that? Oh, it writes. Doesn't need anything. You can just sharpen it. Fantastic. I'd have one of those. You know. Pencil, brilliant. What's the most embarrassing thing to happen to you, either at work, in a pitch, or on stage at an event or conference? Gosh, the most embarrassing. I haven't really been embarrassed by. Uh, 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 Events and I don't actually. So I don't think about those things really. I'm I'm um, I'm so relaxed about things. I don't get embarrassed really. So you've never gone on stage with your flies undone, or you've never <coughs> kind of tripped up your shoelaces or anything like that, no. No, I, I you know it would make an interesting story, wouldn't it? <laughs> you know, walked on the stage with his flies down and everybody going, oh my god, he's just. A... No, I haven't really had embarrassing moments. That sounds dull, doesn't it? I should have had an embarrassing moment. I have to think about one actually. Get one. How would you describe the creative industry today in three words? Uh, in one word, exciting. Okay. How would you design a spice rack for a blind person? Ah, uh, spice rack for a blind person. Well, I think you'd have to make it smell, wouldn't you? Um, I obviously couldn't see, so you'd have to be, uh, you'd have to sort of do something about smell. 
Is there any other agency in the world that you would love to work for? Um, well, that's one of those. Oh, that's one of those questions which uh, is always tricky. I mean, I think actually, I'd, I'd, I'd love to. I'd love to be. I'd love. I'd love to actually spend some time at Widens. Actually, uh, we're both the same age. We both have very similar values, but are completely different in the way we work. And uh, I think it would be terrific to work there for a while, uh, just to sort of experience a, a, a different way of uh, approaching the creative process. If you could turn back time, what would you do differently? I wouldn't. Always look forward. And what advice would you give people that are looking to get into the industry today? Um, enthusiasm. The most important thing after talent. Uh, there's a lovely thing about enthusiasm, you know. Uh, and I always say this. So can I drift off like this? I can, <laughs> yeah. can't I? Because I go. And I say, I, I'm so excited by this. I, t I, tell, I kind of tell everybody. It's like a, it's a joke about that, but I won't go into that now. But one of the things about advertising, which is fantastic, is it's full of entrepreneurial people. And if you're not entrepreneurial, you will not succeed in advertising. It doesn't matter how talented you are, you just won't succeed. You've got to be able to kind of engage uh, and, and uh, expose your ideas to as many people as possible. And that's why enthusiasm is very important. And um, there's a fantastic thing which is sort of, uh, uh, and I'm not at all religious, but God is energy, really. That's why people are attracted to God, energy. It's just energy. And, and why enthusiasm is important. And the origin, this is the point of the story, the origin, the etymology of the word enthusiasm is, it comes from the Greek, and it means to be with God. Isn't that wonderful? It's wonderful. For you, what's the best thing about agency life? Um, being surrounded by exciting people. And who inspires you creatively? Well, I'm not inspired by... People. That sounds like I'm a bit damning. I don't mean to be damning. I'm inspired by ideas, because ideas in a way don't let you down. People often let you down. Uh, ideas never let you down. So I'm always, you know, uh, 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 I look at an idea and I get excited by that. What are your interests outside of work? Oh, uh, a huge number. I, I uh, play tennis, I love going to uh, art galleries, I love going to the cinema. Uh, I don't go to the theatre that much, I get an itchy bum uh, for some <laughs> reason, and I, I don't know, I go occasionally, but you know, I love the cinema. Um, I, I just love walking around with my eyes open, uh, and engaging with friends, and drinking good wine, and you know. You mentioned that you thought you'd be a painter uh, if, before you got into advertising. So I guess my next question would be, if you weren't in this industry, what do you think you'd be doing? Well, although I said I was, I, I'd love to be, uh, I wanted to be a painter, but actually, fun enough, the thing I'd love to have done is to be an architect. I think architecture is wonderful, because you're creating these buildings, which are objects, which in a sense are, is a, is a piece of, you know, sculpture in a way, and yet people live in them, react to them, they're, they're, they're sort of, you know, permanent marks of, of creativity. I've always thought the idea of uh, impacting on people's lives in some way or another is, is fairly profound, and I think architecture does that almost more than anything else. What's the best brand you've ever worked on? The best brand I've ever, ever worked on, I suppose, um, and I still work on it, actually, uh, occasionally, is Audi. Uh, brilliant, brilliant uh, car designers, um, uh, fantastic people to work with, uh, doing constantly exciting stuff, and it's wonderful to engage with their engineers and, and to sort of talk to them about what they're doing, what they're thinking. It's really exciting, actually. And how hands-on are you, kind of, creatively these days? I'm not as much as I'd like to be. As I, I think I said in my book, whoever wants to be, why would you ever want to be a creative director? Um, don't, you know, just stay doing the work. I wish I could go back to just being an art director, working with a writer, working on interesting projects. I'd love that. And what's your favourite advertising campaign of all time? Of all time? Well, I suppose it's the advertising campaign that, that, that turned me on to this industry, which is the original Beatle campaign by... Dole Day and Burn back way back in the early 60s. I just think, you know, to this day you can get that campaign out and it'll teach you virtually everything you need to know about advertising. It's just brilliant. And, and created in the early mid-60s. 
Okay, let's move on to a quick fire round. So one ooh, word. One this is this is where you know Freud will have a lot to say about this. <laughs> one word answers. One word answers. Yeah. Pan lion or DNA D pencil. Both. Olympic gold or an Oscar. Oscar. Brightest person you've worked with. Uh, far too many to uh, to name here. Most creative person you've worked with. Again, far too many to, to, to name them here. And the best looking person you've worked with. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got to say Rosie Arnold. <laughs> she, she, how does she combine such wonderful beauty with brains? That's what I want to know. It's just fantastic. How much did she pay you for that answer? <laughs> creatives or suits? Well, obviously creatives. Apple or Android? Um, we work for Google, so it's hard for me to answer that question. And again, I can't go both, you know. Degree or no degree? No degree. Art directors or copywriters? Naturally art directors. Retained work or pitch work? Uh, retained work. Web or mobile? Uh, mobile. Independent agencies or networked agencies? Well, it's obviously what I'm going to say to that one, independent. Outsource production or on-site production? Um, a bit of both. Don Draper or Roger Sterling? Well, it should be Don, doesn't it? He gets all the girls. <laughs> Twist or stick? Twist. And lastly, John Bartle or Nigel Bogle? Both. <laughs> Safe answer. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, Mark. <laughs>